Hello, I'm making this video to uh, show how you can set up your um, account security in RetroCourse. Sadly, I have to do this on the phone because I need to be able to record another phone how I'm doing. So, to begin, you need to log into your account on the website. And you can see here, the account security is not secure. So we click on this button, security. And here we can uh, activate the two-factor authentication. So what we're going to do here is to begin with creating one. You need to confirm with your password. And you get this uh, image, a QR code, that you're supposed to scan with an uh, app you have on the phone. So, on the phone, you're going to need uh, an application, which you can find in uh, Play Store, or a similar place. You can search for uh, Authenticator. I prefer this one. Googles and you install it. So now we're just waiting for it to install. See where it went. There we have it. Authenticator. Start it. You can skip that one. And you click on scan a barcode, which is this QR code. Click on scan. And you just set the phone. So you scan it. And then you get this little thing. And uh, this number is your new security code for the account that will change every minute. So we're going to try it out. When you have uh, added it to the phone, you need to click on this, save and enable token. And you can see up here now, it says it's secured with two-factor authentication. So we're going to try to log out. And we're going to log in again. And now when we log in, we're going to of course, I write it wrong. Okay. Now, you get this one, but you need to uh, give you a token to continue into the account. And here's where we get it. We click on Authenticator, and you get this number which changes every minute. So you're going to type this six digit number into the token in there. And then you click on submit and you got logged in. And that's all there is to it. So every time you're going to log in on you, you're going to need this application and get this number, which will change now. You see, it changes every minute. So now we don't need that phone anymore. The second part about security, which is uh, pretty good to have, it's this in-game IP lock. It uh, make you able to uh, give an IP that you are only allowed to log into the game from a certain IP. And uh, right now, everyone is approved 
And that's not very good, because if a hacker gets your account information, they can log in. But if I click on this, approve my current IP, which you can see here, then you can only log in to the game if you have that IP address. So um, to try it out, I have approved my own IP. Now this is a fake IP, but most people would understand that one. So uh, when I log in, it's fine. I can open the checks list, but if I change this IP to something else, oops, sorry, there. So now, now I have uh, made it uh, a wrong IP. So when I try to log in now, says I don't have the right IP to log into the game. So I approve my own IP again, and it's updated. And then it's final to log in again. Using those two together, this one for accessing uh, the website, and this one to access the game, it will be very hard for hackers to get over your account. So uh, I hope you understood this video tutorial, how you can make it. So see you around.